Why was your friend made tranquil? Do you know? No. And it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. I know some mages who deserve that. Really? Perhaps they should start making slaves tranquil. Then they wouldn't dream... It's not a pretty home, but at least it's clean. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You'd be surprised how people just tell me their darkest secrets. I must look trustworthy. You look... Something. True. Proud. Like, even if you don't agree with me, you'll be honest. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Well, he can't complain about his looks anyway. Growing up in the Circle, everything is about order and rules and the Templars. The Apprentices, we found ways to make that bearable. Carl and I, he was the first. We could forget that, out in the world, we were nothing but Templar slaves. We hadn't been together for a long time. But still, it hurt. You and Carl... I've always believed people fall in love with a whole person, not just a body. Why would you shy away from loving someone just because they're like you? Does it bother you that I've been with men? I'm just glad it didn't take me any longer to find out. It's hard to believe Carl is dead. And at my hand. Damn the Templars! I should have come to Kirkwall sooner. What if we just get back to the flirting part? I wish it were that easy. But I have this voice inside me, this drive for justice. When I think about the Templars, it's unbearable. If you're born with magic, they hear about it. They search your little rat's bit village and find you. They tell your parents they'll be thrown in prison if they ever ask about you. Stripped of their rights in the eyes of the Maker. And if you run away, they hunt you down. Again, and again, and again. You're starting to glow again. And since yours is the only head here, and I don't want to rip it off, I should stop. Yes. Sorry. Besides... We have so much to do before the deep roads. Next time, I'll try to keep to more... pleasant topics. I appreciate your help and support.
I couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh, Ninette's wedding ring. Yes, look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh, written in happier times. Where did you find it? It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Oh, huh, I see. Uh, well, uh, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her uh, death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Welcome, merchant. Well, good luck to you, then. The finest clothing from hip... Egregio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. That's what Denarius used to say. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? Even if I wanted to, Kirkwall is my home now. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like you want to stick around. I could see myself staying. For the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit? With any luck, I'll become better at it.
I hear you're in need of a bit of help. Ah. So you're the reinforcements the Magistrate promised? The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Look at these guards. I doubt either of them has to worry about having pretty children. That's not what I meant. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her! I want him dead! My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elrin. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. A man who murders children won't survive long in the courts of Kirkwall. No, don't you understand? If you take him in, he'll be free again by nightfall. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these shevlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. I'm sure I can't be blamed if I find him beaten into a bloody pulp by unknown assailants. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands, the magistrate will have your head. Better men have tried, and failed, horribly. Thank <laughs> you.
Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. I don't see any injuries. Are you all right? He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. It doesn't matter if the Maker himself was telling this man to hurt you. It's still his own damn decision. I don't believe that. He couldn't stop himself. She is a child and does not understand. Her pity is admirable, but misplaced. Sorry, he's a dead man. But it's not his fault! It's not! Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you? Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. The Magistrate sent me. I've never even met your father. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me and what I've done hidden away. Not hard enough, so it seems. I'm not here to discuss the Magistrate. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me, but he can't. No one can. That elf girl... She had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demons said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The Circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. If the Circle suspected a demon at work, they wouldn't risk setting you loose in the city. No. They lied. Real mages suffer enough without charlatans like you making it worse. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. He sees the truth of it. Allow me to grant his wish, if you will not. Any last words before he kills you, Kelda? Tell my father. I'm sorry. I didn't dare hope. Did you find that monster? Is he dead?
We could bring him back as the undead and then kill him again. No, that's all right. I'd rather he stay dead. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. So, a human, an elf, and a dwarf walk into a bar. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. You could have just stopped me, Blondie. Why waste a perfectly good setup? There you are. I've been here for hours. Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Gut her. <laughs> Hader sent hiding in the chantry and sending thugs to finish me off. Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on.
Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Castillon isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this. Stab first, ask questions later. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. It's simple as that. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. Someone's always trying to claim the streets. If you make them safe to travel at night, someone will reward you. Andraste be my witness, Wilmot. 
I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! To me! Make her preserve us! I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. With what I've bumped into in Kirkwall, nothing surprises me anymore. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Maybe next time you should try confronting him loudly in public. I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits. Wilmot's friend, Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, Please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded.
Do you need something, honey? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of nervous Templars that expect some privacy. I'll be discreet. Let me look through the books. Wilmud, Karen... Here we go. Wilmud came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the Tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilmud's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? What'll it be, Sir Templar? Me, please. Coming right up. So, where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. <laughs> I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody pee. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmud a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmud. Wilmud. That doesn't sound familiar. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. What, uh, whatever do you mean? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? Yes, yes. But certainly there's no harm mixing a little business and pleasure. As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. I will not obey you! What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that now! What? How did she do that? Bleeding ancestors, I feel like a fool. Blood magic. It must be. Maybe we can find answers somewhere around here. And then a cold shower. It appears our new friends make their home in the Undercity. Shall we pay them a visit?
We should go carefully. Who knows what this many blood mages need to cover to defend themselves. <laughs> Wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. 
You do know I cut a path through your abominations, right? Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we concede chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? You're worse than a monster. Goodbye. Kill the vessels only if you must! <laughs> Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. <laughs> What was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I, I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. I've got some good news, and some bad news. What? What is it? Good news, Karen is safe. Bad news, half of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andraste! The... demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Not all mages are like that. True, not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Yet also true. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. The Templars have good reason to be vigilant. We're not all blood mages. Karen, I'm afraid I must relieve you of your commission. If there is any chance he still harbors a demon in him... No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. 
I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. A wise choice. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought he'd be an elf. Enter the camp. 
Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. You are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Miss Hal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shirath. I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anathera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. My name is Hawk. Glad to make your acquaintance, Meryl. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? I miss the cold and the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no Darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. Let's get this over with. Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. I imagine it's difficult to give away something nobody wants. All keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. I'm glad you decided to pitch in back there. Oh! Oh, you're welcome. I wasn't sure I'd be much good. I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> 
So the Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belenar isn't known for her patience. I can open the way forward. One moment. Blood magic. Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Be careful up ahead. 
restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream they called it, but they don't sleep peacefully anymore. on the altar, and I'll begin the rite. Aharin Amalana Salen Emma Irao Bella Zaviranan Isalahamin vinanhim dofilas. In Uthanera narivas. Ah, and here we are. A witch. It's all right, Fenris. She means us no harm. Anderanatishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. You are no simple witch. Figured that out yourself, did you? I have seen powerful mages, spirits, and abominations, but you are none of those things. What are you? Such a curious lad. The chains are broken, but are you truly free? You see a great deal. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. You have plans, I take it? Destiny awaits us both, dear boy. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. As for you, child, 
Step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Masaranus Ashabellana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Saranis child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Alain. Dareth Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Yes, this is it. Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. Of course. But only because you used that you kicked my puppy voice. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. Busy today, I see. I don't suppose you've heard of any work? No. Shem, who oversees the docks. I am sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares, dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainrael is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. We'll find him before the Templars. Don't trust them to have your son's best interest at heart. Don't coddle this boy. If he is a mage, he's dangerous and belongs in the Circle. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly.
Greetings, Serhar. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest Antivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Serhar. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. We're not Templars, Serhar. Fenriel has nothing to fear from us. Maldición, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? You have no idea. Yes, evidently so. The boy is in over his head. So I sent him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages. A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. Just looking at you, I'd say you're a man who helps anyone for the right price. What kind of price? Help me, and you don't end up dead. The Maker don't look kindly on them who tease broken old men. Right, the lad came to me, not a silver in his pockets. Told him there's nothing I can do for him. I pity any mage who is forced to rely on you for protection. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. So your good friend's a kidnapper? Can't say I'm surprised. Not a friend. Just someone who's not afraid to try this business. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse.
Get a hold of her. Please, help me. Anyone. Get the hands. I heard they can't do no spells without hands. You know nothing of magic. suppose she was. We should see if there's anything here to identify. Bugger off! Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap them in irons and let's see what the Tavinters will pay for them. Make him talk. I can do that. Andraste's great flaming ass. How did you do that? Never mind, I... I've stashed the boy in a cave, a smuggler hideout on the wounded coast. Tavinters will be by to finish the deal today. Now, c c can I go? Sure. Uh, oh, wait. I meant no. <laughs> Took him to some hole in the 
the wounded coast. I wonder if that's near the injured cliffs or the limping hills. Massive head trauma bay. No, just me. Forget I said anything. Never going to stop harping on the mages here. We have found neither Hyde nor Hera, the lad, Fainril. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. So, is this a bad time to say two gold a week for the next year or the Templars get a copy of that letter? Seems only fair. You monster. Fine. Money is what you wish to avoid dragging my Olivia's name through the mud. You shall have it. Now be gone. Check your purse. I think you lost something. Ah, welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solifitus. Please take a look around. My apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. Remedy that? Potions shop. You, my good man, are priceless. The pun wasn't intentional, although I may use that next time. It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. The spider's silk gland. I hope the fellow you took this from give you much trouble. Ah, my young friend. How goes the search?
Out of your element, dwarf? No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though. You're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. Your mess just picked me up on the way by. Still better than what I had. Look, the name's Javaris Tintop. I need someone to help pacify the Kunari. Why do I get the feeling he's not talking about singing them a lullaby? Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I have heard of this. It's why their ships are so feared. So it's some kind of Kunari magic. What use is that to a dwarf? If it is magic, it's a kind you can assemble, and dwarves do that very well. But that Arishak, he won't deal, said I have the same mercenary disease as their outcasts, the Talvashoth. He says I'm not worthy, but he had this look in his eyes, so I figure I'll hire some blades and... And you're going to prove yourself by killing Talvashoth outlaws. Problem being, I'm no warrior, but I can pay. All right, I'll step in for you. For a price. I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Richly.